The security revolving door allows only employees and authorized cardholders to enter the building. Although security causes a little inconvenience, it also offers a major benefit to employee safety. It is important that you as the user understand how the door works. To simplify and speed your entrance, have your security credentials, your access card, ready to present to the reader. Once you present your access card, look for the red light on the reader bracket to turn green or listen for a beep. This lets you know your access card was accepted. If the door is not already in motion, it will start when a valid card read is received. Now step into the enclosure and walk through the door to the other side without stopping and exit the door. Since this door can be used from both sides simultaneously, you may be presenting your card as a person is entering the door from the other side. Go ahead and present your access card. The door will recognize you and the other user. Now walk through without stopping. If there is a user ahead of you, you do not have to wait for him to complete his passage. Present your access card. Watch for the red light to turn green. Listen for the beep. Observe the moving door and make sure you have a full opening. Then step through the door. You have three chances to enter with a valid presentation, so don't force your way into the door. Take the next available full compartment. You also have 10 seconds to complete your passage from the time you get a valid card read. If that time expires, simply represent your card. The door includes several safety features that will cause it to stop automatic operation. A cushion safety switch on the enclosure wall and another feature called bump to idle will stop the door if it contacts Please an object. The door can then be pushed forward or backward to clear the object. Please push forward. Then push the door forward and automatic operation will restart so you can complete your passage. Walk through without stopping. In the event the obstruction cannot be cleared, a help button inside the door will alert security and assistance will be dispatched to the door. Do not bring wheelchairs, bicycles, large boxes, or other large items through the security revolving door. Use the adjacent secured access swing door. Access cards for individuals who are unable to use the revolving door can be updated to allow access through the swing doors. In the event of an emergency evacuation such as a building fire alarm, the side swing doors will automatically release to provide emergency exit without the use of an access card. Be alert, the door may stop or reverse due to a safety or security violation, so be prepared for this to happen. The door reacts to your actions and the actions of others, and will stop if there is a violation of security or safety. Either an audible or visual announcement declares a security violation. Security violation. The door will Once reverse. the violation is cleared from the door, the valid person and only the valid person will be allowed through the door without representing a card. Look for the green light. If it is still on, you can go through. If the red light is on, represent your card. The security revolving door will prevent the access violation known as piggybacking, where two or more individuals attempt to enter the building using one access card. Security violation. Door will reverse. Each individual entering the revolving door must use their own access card for a valid entry. Let's quickly review the use of the door. Present your access card to the card reader. Watch for the red light to turn green or listen for a beep sound. Step inside the enclosure. Continue through the door without stopping, but be prepared to stop should a violation occur.